I'm going to show you how I'm using AI to turn the SketchUp model into beautiful watercolor renderings like these using two simple and inexpensive AI tools that no one is talking about. To make them work for us, we need to start with our actual line work, which the AI is now able to understand. For this, I'm using Adobe Fresco on my iPad Pro, which gives me the ability to import screenshots of my SketchUp models, and it has a basic pencil brush, which is all I need to trace over the model and achieve the desired look of a real pencil and watercolor rendering. Once my line work is complete, I simply export the drawing, crop it, and airdrop it to my laptop for the next step. This first tool is called Draw3D. Over the last several months, I've used it to shave hours off of every digital watercolor rendering I've done. I think of it as my AI coloring assistant because it takes my line work and creates vivid images that are just good enough for the next step in my process. Similar tools are available, but this one doesn't require me to download anything or mess with any settings. I just upload the lines I exported, give it a descriptive prompt, and push the generate button. If I don't like what it gives me, I adjust my prompt and try again. I love it so much I signed up for their affiliate program. There's an affiliate link in the description you can use when you try it out, and using this link helps support my chocolate habit. Unlike most image generation software like Dali and Midjourney, which can generate amazing looking images but with no control over the composition, this tool gives you one-to-one -one control over the outcome because you give it your exact line work and it understands what you've drawn. So as long as you have some familiarity drawing by hand or even exporting CAD, BIM, or SketchUp models as lines, this tool can work for you. The next step in my process is to take my Draw 3D image and drag it into Waterlog Pro. Waterlog is not an AI tool. It's been around since 2014, and the desktop version of Waterlog generates delicious, high-resolution watercolors that can fool experts. I have a handful of preset styles saved so I can quickly drag, drop, and adjust my paper size before export. I did not speed up this video. Waterlog literally paints your images in front of you in seconds. I'm including a normal link to their website in the description, which has links to both their mobile and desktop versions of the app. In most cases, it doesn't matter whether my Draw 3D image is 100% accurate to my line work because Waterlog bleeds the colors in a very natural way that makes minor inaccuracies look interesting when we take it to the final step. At this point, if I'm in the middle of a design charrette and we need to quickly pin up presentation drawings, this will do. But you can see there are some things I'd like to be better, such as window reflections, as well as the people, the foreground trees, and shaving off that extra snow-capped mountain in the background. If I'm doing a final presentation drawing that needs to be very site accurate and I want to include things like shadows and trees and people, I will use a marker brush in Adobe Fresco over my Draw 3D image to sort of airbrush in or out the details that I want before moving to the waterlog step. From there, I can repeat the process I just showed you with the airbrushed color layers and import the resulting waterlog image at the same size and resolution as the line work. And because I can use prompting to tell Draw3D to give me the same rendering at different times of day, and I don't have to manually color each drawing from scratch, it's now possible for me to generate two or three watercolors of the same view in far less time. That means watercolor renderings can finally dynamically show projects in different lighting and in different seasons, and we don't need a fully built 3D model or animated walkthrough video to do it. Many of my colleagues in the field are concerned about whether AI is going to replace architects, planners, and illustrators in the near future. I talked about this in a previous video, and I really don't think so. Much in the same way computers with CAD and 3D modeling software made things easier for us 30 years ago, AI is proving to be the next leap in technology that will facilitate our creative services, and hopefully give us some time off without sacrificing business. Until now, I haven't seen many architects and designers making practical use of AI tools to service their clients, with the exception of Midjourney being used for concept inspiration. If we're going to leverage AI in design, the next place we look will be in renderings and presentation, because, at least for now, AI tools can't design think, draw crisp lines, or annotate like we can. But I'm sure that will change soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as it helps show our videos to more of our community. And if you know about other great AI rendering tools and techniques, leave a comment below and I'll be glad to make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.